Well, I, I'll say it's been good, but it's, I think it's just about having or knowing your priorities and doing what you have to do on time, really, and knowing how to schedule yourself. So I think that's how I've been doing it so far because I know what time to work and I know what time to create for the family. And I know what time to create for myself too. So personally, I think that's how it's been. But I, like I said, it's been God anyway. Like, um, well, talking about scandals, this the fact that, like, uh, like I said, I was very, very stubborn. Like, um, I think it's just knowing who you are and your limitations and respecting your flaws. Uh, you know, as you state, with that, I think you'll be scandal free. I know my flaws and I respect them. I know my limitations and I just, I just go for what I want, as I said. I'm, I'm, I'm so precise about what I want in life or out of life and I, I try to be fair to everyone I meet every day of my life. So I think it's, it's fair enough being scandal free with all these attributes. <laughs> Well, I think um, if, if I really have a choice, I wouldn't want to talk about this, but if you insist, I would say, um, you see, the, we're human, and the way we go about our, our, our how would I say it, our misunderstandings, it's, it's, it's quite different. You know, so it's, it's actually boils down to, a lot of people like to like, you know, try out their anger out there to the world, let the world know how they feel. While some people know, they know how to manage it. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's all about individuality. I mean, there are a lot of actors that actually do have clashes every day, but we don't see it on social media. I mean, they know how to go about, you know, they manage their disputes among themselves. So I think the actors that are out there on social media choose to be out there. So I think it's just a personal decision for them. It's the way they want to run their stardom, their career. So it's, it's left for them. So I, I think that's, that's just my opinion anyway. For some, like, good publicity, like um, my friends who say good publicity, pub, bad publicity, publicity, not publicity. So maybe they're actually gaining something from that. They, I mean, they might gain more followers, they might gain more audiences, and, um, you know, but I don't know. For me, I, I don't think I want to train on <laughs> such publicity anyway. <laughs> As an entertainer, I realize whatever I do actually affects a million people out there. I'm, I'm actually like a doctor. I'm actually like a lawyer. I'm actually like a, a pastor. You understand? Because a lot of people, a lot of children sit you know, home glued to the TV and they watch us. And they see, oh, I like this actor, I like this person. And they feel whatever it is we do out there is the right thing. Okay, like, something happened to me some years ago, and um, I actually learned from that. I was outside, and I actually lit a stick of cigarette, and the next thing, a car just pulled over by my side, and the, you know, the, the, the shield just came down, the glasses wind down, and it was like, hi, hello. And I had my cigarette in my mouth, like, I was like, hello. And the next thing was like, my son loves you, he's a big fan, and I had the cigarette right there. And she rolled down the glass, and I saw the kid, and honestly, I felt like killing myself right there, because the kid likes me so much, and seeing me smoke outside, would, he would think that is actually the best thing, or that is the right thing to do. You understand? I mean, <laughs> I feel bad about myself. Really, and since that day, he actually picked on me, and I realized whatever I do influences someone out there. So that means I'm actually accountable for someone's misdeed in life. So personally, I think as an entertainer, I should always try to be the best I can. You know, out there, not even out there. My kids in the house, in the, you know, it's it's just the burden we we carry. So. Let's just face it. I said. No. It's, like I said earlier, it's, it's all about you. It's, it's about what you want for yourself. The media is just there to actually, I mean, 
broadcast you to, to the world. That's their work. That's why they're the media people. I mean, look at how the, I mean, the English press actually helped Beckham, David Beckham and its, his career while he was actually, you know, playing in the English football. The media is good. I support the media. I mean, I'm on social media platforms, but I just choose what I want to circulate in there. So I won't say the, the media has no, no business with failed marriages. It is you that you should know how to undo your own. That's just it. Well, um, like I've always addressed my misconception issues. I'll say come closer. I don't buy it. Really. I'm a Yoruba boy. You understand? So I would say one thing. Um, I've always misconcepted all my life. I mean, I get, I get these compliments a lot. It's so proud. <laughs> I get that a lot, really. I get compliments like, um, he's so full of himself. I don't know, really. But for the fact that I, I enter into somewhere at, and I don't have any, I say hello to people and I don't have any reason or what, I'm not supposed to start blabbing now. Come on. I mean, <laughs> it's just a misconception. Maybe it's from the TV, what people watch. I mean, that has nothing to do with me. I mean, if I see having eye contact, I'll holla. You understand? I mean, I, <laughs> I'm a very shy person, actually, outside camera. And I try as much as possible to always be fair, like I said. So there's a whole lot of misconception about Sukum Yemo Bolanle. Please come closer. I don't bite. I am friendly. I love to laugh. I'm, come on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So please just correct that notion. I think this is actually an avenue to actually go out there and correct this notion. I am a very friendly person, for real. Yeah, I've got, I've got pride. Yes, no doubt, every human should have pride. But I am more proud. I know what I stand for, I know what I live for. Yes, well, if you mistake pride to be proud, I mean, that's, that's left for you. But I'm not a proud person. If you can't stay in marriage, don't go into one. Well, I'm an African man. If they say it's bad, it's bad. I don't practice it anyway. And whatever I don't practice, I don't think it's good. <laughs> well, that was a long time ago because um, right now, I don't think I get embarrassed again. I think it was at the early stage of my career when um, my father had this advert with um, red cow milk or something. and. Um, I was actually, I got, I got into a friend's compound and everybody was just shouting, Alluia, Alluia, red cow, papi, and I mean, I was, <laughs> I grew red on the spot, as in, I was, I was one embarrassing day in my life I'd never forget, yes. <laughs>